congratulations if you could sum up the game over and what it means to the club going into the final. Um, well, it's a great occasion for the, for the football club. Obviously, nothing won yet, but um, not a lot of people give us a chance coming here playing against Liverpool. Um, but we believed it, and uh, when we st stepped foot on that pitch, we realised that our fans believed it as well. Um, and that means an awful lot to us. You know, they, they were magnificent there. You know, especially when we go behind, they dragged us back in the game. We managed to get in the game six minutes after. Um, Christian with a fantastic goal, to be honest. And then um, I thought we dominated the football after that and caused Liverpool a lot of problems. Brendan Rodgers was just in here and changed tactics throughout the game, trying to find the right system. Is there personal pleasure on your point of view that you got things right from the start? Well, I, we, we looked at Liverpool and we realised that it might cause them a few problems if we played two number 10s with Jack Grealish and uh, and then Zogbia. And it, and it turned out that way, you know, they played in the pockets there, they were hard to pick up and they got they got themselves on, on the turn, on the back foot and then our, our whip come from our full backs. And, we knew our midfield three would have the energy in there to, to cope, uh, which they did. And we needed to get players in support of, um, of Christian Benteke. And I thought the game plan was, was worked perfectly today. We weren't worried about what Liverpool were going to do. We just knew that if we played like we can, we were going to cause them a lot of problems. The word on Jack Grealish, young player, than just come in starting games for the first time the last few weeks, but it didn't look that way out there today. No, the bigger the stage, the better he plays. You know, that's where he relishes it, and that's a sign of a of a good talent. You know, Jack's um, someone I've looked at before I was at the club, and then um, when I've seen him in training, if you give him instruction, he sticks to the plan. You know, and he's uh, he's got a big future at the football club. He's very durable. He's a big guy. You know, you see the size of his legs. Only a kid, still learning. Takes a lot of kicks. He takes more kicks in training than he does on the pitch. You know, so he's getting a lot of practice fending off them kicks, and he probably needs bigger pads. Just looking forward now between now and the final, we've seen in previous years teams win a semi-final and then between the semi-final and the final the form drops off a bit in the league. You've still got much to do in the league. Is there a concern on your part at all that uh, the players might already have one eye on getting back here? They only get here and, and if, they, if they play well in, in the games remaining. So they're fighting for their places. Um, not too big a squad to be honest. I and mean, We've lost Nathan Baker again today, so Kieran Clark last week. So we've got two fit centre-backs who've done very well today, Corey and Ron Vlaar, but they're the only two we're going with now between now and the end of the season. So we're not blessed in uh, defensive areas with, uh, with a lot of players. So you'll be underdogs again in the final. Does, does that suit you in, in terms of ease of team talk, but also your personality coming into this game? Because you, you're obviously going to be up against one of the great figures of English football in the other dugout. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I watched that semi-final yesterday and I watched how calm Arsene was after the game, but he, he, he probably realised there's nothing won, you know, and uh, um, I'm, I'm sorry I can't be Arsene Wenger after that final whistle, you know, I was just delighted and I had to spill out them emotions. But in terms of the underdog? Yeah, in terms of the underdog, you're right, we will be the underdog. The pressure's on Arsenal to win the cup, they're the holders and they want to win it again. And um, but we're, uh, we've got a lot of hard work. We have to put it on the back burner now. Um, but we, we realise we've got a lot of hard work between now and then. But um, we need to secure our safety and then come back here and just take the game to Arsenal. Every time we play, we take the game to the opposition. I think we carry our, our own threats. And, uh, and today was no exception. Tim, just to confirm what you said, did you say Nathan Baker's season will be over with? Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Final. Yeah. What's the Knee. But he's, it's a re reoccurring knee injury, so he looks like he's done it quite badly. So we know how long that normally takes. So, yeah, disappointing for the lad and uh, obviously for the football club and the fans. Yeah, no, a lot of people thought it was Stephen Gerrard, the leader today, sort of the star of the show. But it's Fabian, uh, perhaps you could say what you thought of his display. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when I, when I come to the club, Fabian Delph had just signed a new contract. He had an opportunity to go to some of the teams in the top four and uh, he showed a lot of loyalty to Aston Villa. Um, a lot of questions were asked why, you know, um, you do for me, you know, I need characters like that who are willing to put, put herself on the line and, and show that sort of spirit for, for the football club and uh, his performance today, I've never seen him have a bad game here at Wembley, he, you know, for England and he's, and he's not had a bad one there today, so hopefully he plays well in the final. I think he can add goals to his game, he's got so much energy, he can get into the final third and score, as you saw today, he's nicked a couple of goals for me already, I just want to encourage him to, to do that and then... Um, you know, it'd be too expensive for anyone to buy. Mm -hmm. so when, when, when you came here, you were confident about what you were going to do, but have these players exceeded your expectations? 
Um, I think it was slow. I think it was uh, took this took time, but you know, there's no magic wand here. You know, it, it's always going to take time. I just want, as I, I keep saying, I want to get over the line, crawl over the line, and and hopefully have an opportunity to have a pre-season and and build for the future. Maybe add one or two. Um, but there's um, a lot. There's a good blend of youth and, and experience at the club, and, and they really are good listeners. You know, and they and they buy into to what I'm telling them. Um, and obviously victories help, you know, when we win away at Tottenham, which is no one give us a chance. And we come here today and beat, beat a passing type team like Liverpool. Um, and, and we changed the way we play today. You know, we normally go very direct or, and, and use our pace down the sides. I think Liverpool would have expected us to do that today, but we played it nice short through the thirds and, uh, and caused some problems in, in the little pockets of areas. And it was, uh, they were a little bit bamboozled, to be honest. Do you mean the Sorry. No, not yet. No, my phone's buzzing in my pocket, but I don't know who it is. Do you know where he was? I mean, he wasn't here today, was he? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it was. I don't know. Family bereavement, in, and so I'm not sure if they were, if he could make it. But I spoke to him in a week, and if he's not here on body, he's certainly here in spirit. You know, he's the biggest Aston Villa fan I know. So you Tip. You looked in the crowd towards the end. But how did you how did you feel that was from the Villa fans today? Terrible. <laughs> 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 no, I thought they were. I thought they were fantastic, you know, as I said, they, they dragged, it's, it's easy to support your team when you're winning, but even at 1-0 down, I thought they were great and, and dragged the boys back, you know, and uh, we're going to need them between now and the end of the season, they're going to be very important to us. Tim, would you say this is probably, surely, the team's best display under you, and, and do you sense how momentous it is for the club after so many barren years? Yeah, I can sense that, yeah, that with the how vocal they was out there, and but I really did think that they believed, you know, the fans believed, and... They ain't come here just for the day out today. You know, they, they think that they can come here twice. I think a lot of them might have already booked a hotel, so we're pleased with that. Just the fact that it's Arsenal and final had anything personally for you? No, only that it's going to be tough. <laughs> Arsenal are the holders and we know they're probably the best football inside in the league. You know, we're talking, and they, they can make this pitch look very, very big. So we're going to have to get a plan ready and um, we think we can cause them problems. But as I say, this, it's on the back burner now and it's important we get some points to preserve our Premier League status next season. Christian Benteke, what an important goal that was at the right time for you today. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's done that consistently. I've, for me, you know, we've, when, he, when, he first, when I first come in, I didn't, couldn't believe that they'd only scored 12 goals, you know, it's with, with a strike force like Benteke and Agbon Nahor and, and Byman, who nicked goals as well. So. There must have been something wrong, and I, I viewed the tapes and realised that they weren't getting the service, you know. And I tried to keep him in the game as much as possible. Um, tell the boys not to neglect. I think we mixed up brilliantly today because there was an outlet for us to go long. We've got that. We can't. We're not tippy tappy through the thirds. We can go and we can stretch teams and we can go long and batter them. And I think we got a good mixture, and I think we put that into good practice today. Tim, when Gabby was ruled out injured, was there ever any thought in your mind that you might? Opt, to, opt for a more defensive formation. No, no. I, I just look at the what I've got personnel-wise. We needed to create a threat, so you're taking one very good striker who can stretch him, stretch him lengthwise. You know, when we go long, and we have to find a different way. So um, I'm not sure if Liverpool tried to second guess what we would do, but I didn't think they uh, they would have expected that. Cheers, chaps. Thanks, Dave. Yeah,